Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my most complimented fragrances and this isn't all of them. Um, this is just my whole collection. Um, let's see. Alien gets a lot of compliments. Um, if you want to see more um, in-depth uh, explanations about the perfumes, please watch my video about my whole perfume collection. So Alien would be one. This one, Girl of Now by Edi Saab. Then um, this one got me compliments. This is Aqua di Gioia by Giorgio Armani, but I spritzed it 10 times that day. <laughs> um, then this one, I remember when I was like, I think, wow, 13 years old and someone, uh, a classmate commented that it was a really good smelling perfume. I had a sample in my pencil case but uh, back then I didn't have money to buy perfumes, so I always said when I have enough money I will buy this one. So this is a refillable bottle and if it's empty I will definitely buy uh, a refill. Then this one, Hypnotic Poison ED EDT, also gets me a lot of compliments. This one, Ange ou Démon, Le Secret by Givenchy, gets me compliments. This one, Olympia but it's not that special because it's a well-known fragrance. Um, this one, um, I think it's called Red Kiss by Diesel. Um, let's smell it again. It has been a long time. I used to um, take this to school with me. So um, they were always, uh, when we had a break and when I was uh, kind of alone in the classroom, I sprayed perfume on myself and everyone was like, who, who sprayed uh, perfume and who's that uh, person that smells so good? Um, this is Dark Temptation by Layer, but I actually never spray this. <laughs> I don't know why. I just have so much perfumes. It's really hard to, to enjoy each, not enjoy, but um, to have an occasion. So because of the coronavirus, I'm home a lot. I don't go out, I don't go to friends, I don't go out for dinner. So actually I haven't wore perfume in a long uh, time and I miss it. I just miss uh, getting all dressed up, put some makeup, then choose a fragrance. I miss that so much, but I'm praying that it would be over soon. Then let's get back to business. So on um, this one, this is Tom Ford Noir uh, Pour Femme. And this is actually a nice detail, the TF. Um, this is definitely a gourmand fragrance. This smells like something you could eat, like a dessert, like a cheesecake with ice cream on top of it. Really sweet fragrance and definitely an edible scent. Armani C is a great. Oh, I also want to buy uh, the Armani C Fiori. So love 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 this one this smells like wine champagne i really love it and i also like the bottle so i want to buy the c fiori the bottle is in uh as a pink color like my nails um it's not translucent like this one i'd love to buy that i also want to buy mon guerlain by guerlain and i also want to buy uh coucou mademoiselle by chanel i want to buy miss dior I still have one. And also Eau de Merveille uh, Elixir, the dark purple, no, dark orange bottle, excuse me. Um, I forgot why I was filming. Oh yeah, my most complimented fragrances. Okay, then Fancy by Jessica Simpson, which I have over here. It smells like caramel and flowers. Ooh, this one. But uh, unfortunately it isn't, it isn't long lasting at all. Then what do we have? Cloud. I actually complimented someone else on wearing this and I recognized it. I was like, you're wearing cloud, aren't you? And she was like, yeah. And when I, um, I, for me, it's important that someone else can smell me. So I, that evening I placed my order. <laughs> then what do we have next? This one, Victor and Rolf, uh, Flower Bomb Nectar. Actually, Wow. Wow. It 
has been a long time since I wore this perfume and actually smelling it again. Oh, this has a gunpowder note in it. Such a great feminine scent. It's really, it's, it's a bit hard to describe, but it smells like honey and smoke. <laughs> then, what do we have next? Oh, Bonbon. Bonbon also gets me a lot of compliments. This is the Bonbon Couture. Um, really heavy perfume, heavy on the caramel. And this smells like, it smells like makeup. It smells like a when you go um, to a hairdresser to get all glammed up. It smells like the perf the uh, the perfumes that everyone is wearing, the hairspray, the makeup they're using. This smells like a place where you sh where you get ready to go somewhere fancy. Love it, love love love. So this is a couture. That's why the sides are a little bit light purple. And the normal bonbon is um, translucent on the sides. So I'm placing these um, at the back because these are all my heavy winter scents. This is Addict by Dior. This, this one also got me compliment. Uh, what do we have next? Actually, I really want to buy, uh, I really want to wear this one, but I'm scared. So I'm a 23 years, years old female and um, I have no idea how people re will react Wow Love it. So when I started my collection, I started off with uh, these kind of fragrances like people like Juicy or Olympia But now I like the more dark scents like this one like um, This one this is Anjou ou Demo uh, ou de Parfum by Givenchy. This is also a really dark scent. Um, I love it. I was hesitant between buying the EDT and the EDP, but I'm glad I bought the EDP. Uh, when I see the EDT on sale, I think I will also buy it. Oh, um, so I have the Orchid Soleil, I have Black Orchid, but I don't have the Velvet Orchid, the purple one. I'm planning on ordering it um, through my perfume subscription, so I always get like small samples of perfumes I would love to try. And I also did that with Womanity because I wasn't sure of buying this. And when I got the sample, I was in love. Also love the bottle, so it was it's um, it was a great buy. Um, this one got me also a lot of compliments. Actually, when I was standing outside, um, someone of my ex-boyfriend's family complimented me. He was like, who's, who's uh, wearing perfume or, or who, uh, from who comes that smell? And I was like, it's me. <laughs> and he said, could you write it down for me? So I think he was planning to buy it for his girlfriend. This is Alzaro Pruel. This is the EDP. Then, what do we have next? This one also got me a compliment. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is the EDT. I'm planning on buying the Intense version. Pink Sugar also got me compliments. And lastly, this one. This gorgeous, gorgeous star. Oh my god! <gasps> I dropped it. Oh, sorry if I scared you. Okay, it, oh, it has bubbles in it. Um, I'm not going to edit this video because I want to keep it all natural. So uh, these things happen in life. Um, this is a really small bottle and it's really handy to put in your purse, but um, I lost the cap of it. Um, I don't know. If you wear Angel, please let me know if you spray it on your skin or on your clothes. And please let me know what people think when you wear it because some people really hate this fragrance so I'm not that um, sure about wearing this one I just spray this on my hand when I'm at home because I'm too scared to wear it somewhere else oh fun story about this one so I went shopping with my niece she's three years younger than me and we went to a perfume shop and she knows I'm crazy about perfumes so I sprayed this on her hand because I wanted to see her initial first reaction. She was like, Ew, what did you spray on me? I want to wash my hands. 
and I was like, remember when I came to your place and I said, what do you think about my perfume? And you said, oh, it's nice. It smells really sweet. It is this one. She was like, what? Um, then it, she, she said she liked it back then. But um, I think the scent changed on my skin and also maybe the middle part or the... How's it called? Like you have the top notes, middle notes and the base notes. Yeah, base notes. Maybe it was the base note she liked um, much better. So I think you need to give this time on your skin. So these were my... Actually, most perfumes get complimented. Um, I, I wear really heavy scents. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. And uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.